Oddities. I'm Tex, your host and guide, and this is Mickey the Mumbling Midget. Mumble for the folks, Mickey. <laughs> If you're gonna call, you gotta talk. My time is expensive, you understand? I'm glad you called, though, because we need to talk. I don't know if I can take your case. I know you think those jerks are stealing your music, and if we serve them with a subpoena, they're gonna be in big trouble if they show up in court wearing those eyeball heads. But you know, as a plaintiff, you gotta show up in court, too. Are you ready for that? Talk to me, Herman. Forget it. Sabotage Pizzeria. Come on, Mac. I ain't got all day. Okay. Nobody's talking, so it must be the mole man. Large double mushroom, right, mole man? Sure, it's right. You don't never order nothing else. Ain't that right, mole man? Let's go. 
Push the button so I'll know it's you. Forget it. story, but then you have to go away.
It's Vanda. Vanda the firm woman, smiling her saintly smile while loudly licking her vat and fangling worms. And no one knows why, not even myself. Contra pillow comfortably supports your neck. So 3200 or send check on money order for.
Sister Salas, thank you for guiding me on a tour of the mission. The positive effects of your efforts with the infirm and debilitated have inspired my every waking moment since the conclusion of our pleasant but... you want. Get out of there.
greatest attractions in freak show history. Enter if you dare. John Libera, like Betty Lou Williams, was one of the more famous possessors of <laughs> Celesta Geyer, known by the stage name of Dolly Dimples, was a